Hey everybody, 13th of March, 2022, Sunday fun day. So what's our messages from within today? So I'm getting a lot of the same themes. Um, the final throes of old stuff that doesn't serve you is coming back with vengeance and it's asking to be released. And it's giving you an opportunity to just remove all those obstacles and to stop sabotaging being a martyr or a victim. So I talked the other day about somebody who, oh, I'm supposed to work at that place. Look, I got an interview. Oh my gosh, they really like me. I know I'm supposed to work there. I'm gonna reschedule that second interview because if it's meant to be, they're gonna accept the second interview. Then the second interview gets rescheduled and then they have to come in doing some demo and some homework but then all their fear factors hit them about worth, self-worth, and not good enough and so on. So they had a panic attack and we're, we're gonna reschedule it. Oh, if it's meant to be, they'll just take my rescheduling. Fully aware that they have just sabotaged themselves out of the innate God source, which said, I'm supposed to work there, which means I'm gonna overcome everything. And I'm gonna to surrender to that by being the best I can possibly be. You've got people in relationships right now, some in new ones that are triggering patterns, and yet they're still spinning their wheels talking about, well, this is a new person and maybe they could be different. And if they stop and think about it, the patterns that just were shown to them within a few weeks of a new relationship were all the crap they fought to get out of before. And then you've got people in old relationships and all these triggers are coming up again. And so they're still in this greased monkey wheel and you know, spinning it at high speed, thinking that they're gonna get around all of these things because it, it requires action. It takes courage and action to say no more. I am here as God source light. I have a beautiful crystalline path I'm supposed to be on. And as much as I love you guys and so on, it is just not going to happen. I'm go I love you enough to let you go. And I love myself even more because there's other people counting on me to be at the next juncture of this path. And if you're meant to come along on that path, I'm going to dump you. I'm going to end. I'm going to cut these tentacles, these threads, everything that is attached to these sabotaging victim martyr stuff. And I'm going to let it all go. And I'm going to blindly walk down a path knowing in my innate God source that the knowingness is going to appear on why I have decided that this no longer serves me. So it's like being on the raft in water. You can put your hand out to help someone to the raft. You can, you can offer them your hand many times and when they don't take it or they come to the raft and then they go back off again, at some point you're going to be exhausted. You're out of fuel. And if you don't get your raft to safety, you're just gonna get exhausted and just drown right then and there. And that's what I'm talking about with these obstacles. You gotta be willing to go, okay, I offered you my hand. I offered you suggestions and advice. I've tried to work this out within you or within myself and it's not working anymore. So I've gotta cut bait. I've gotta, I've gotta go to another place, <clears throat> physically, mentally, etherically, and I'm not dragging all these albatrosses with me. It's like you bought a new house and you're trying to squeeze everything from the other house into that house when it's never going to fit, but you're refusing to let go of it. Instead of picking and choosing what is beneficial to come forward and what might be someone else's treasure. So we have to be willing to let go of a lot of these um, human attachments, people, places, and things that can't go with us. And I mean, you could try, but it's just gonna exhaust you. And many people are getting into the mode where I don't need any of this crap, just give me a backpack. Give me a backpack, that's all I got. 
That's all I need. I don't need any of these attachments, these earthly attachments anymore. Because my lifeline is my food, my water, a little bit of clothes on my back, some shoes, the basics. I've got the air. I can do this. I can do that. We have to lighten up. That's really what this whole message is about. You can't lighten up when you've got all these strings and tentacles and things that are locking you into place. And the spirit is just bringing up all of these um, memories and experiences right back in front of your face for you to, okay, I don't need a machete for this one. I can sweep this stuff clear and I can move forward instead of getting caught up in it and having to think about it again. So if you're running into this opportunity, it's an opportunity. Yes, yes, I do not deny that it's painful. I do not deny that it pulls on the heartstrings in such an emotional way. And the more it pulls, the more you realize it's an old pattern, an old wound that is coming up to be healed sealed and sent back to the light because it doesn't serve you at all. Do not let fear freeze you. Trust that you can step into anything and everything. And one of the things that I do is I literally invite my entire light body soul family in and I tell them to hug me so tight that they squeeze out any residual stuff that I need to see that is not beneficial for moving on and that would hinder my potential of fulfilling my mission and that I'm not going to slip back in and allow another cycle of this to even have a clock on it, have a time frame on it. I want it up and out and I want it gone now. And I don't need to spend a lot of time with it because I love the me, myself, and I of it, which is the God source, crystalline, beautiful light body that we are. And if we can accept that that's the only, the only value that is of any importance and that you're not going to allow any disrespect of thyself from anyone because you respect yourself too much to allow it for you to do it to yourself because only you can make these choices, all right? So if you need any assistance, please reach out. It's what I do. It's what I love doing. It's just being there to help empower you to find the answers that can work for you in a way that helps you feel like you're taking a step forward, not two steps back. And holding yourself accountable for that. That's super duper important too. So enjoy your Sunday fun day. Get outside if you can. It's freaking cold here, but I'm gonna make myself do it. I just finished a two hour remote, remote viewing with a group, so had some tears. I'm like, woohoo! Um, a little dehydrated right now. I just need to decompress. Know that all of you guys are okay today, and that I'm gonna take some time to rejuvenate me before a busy Monday hits me and I would really appreciate it a little bit of support from each and every one of you to please like this video please subscribe hit the bell for all by all means leave me a nice message I love hearing them okay so just remember it's this is this is about you zipping and aligning and knowing that you are God and you're on God's mission. Okay, bye.